A century from Lloyd helps Glamorgan take command on day three at Bristol. Sean Marsh scored a classy century on day two at Bristol to help Glamorgan gain a first innings lead. Gloucestershire did manage to remove the Australian international though and it was Lloyd and Cook who returned to the middle on day three. Cook batted confidently from the outset, playing some good strokes to secure three batting points for his side. The hosts couldn't find a way through and the batting pair took command as they extended Glamorgan's lead past 100. The Gloucestershire attack worked hard though and Worrell was eventually rewarded with the breakthrough, Hal taking the catch to send Cook on his way for 43. With Cook gone, Lloyd stepped up and began to play more freely. His new partner Salter struggled though and only managed four runs before he was sent packing by Taylor, Hal once again taking the catch. That brought DeLanger to the crease, who supported Lloyd to his 50, and the pair batted through until lunch. The score, 408 for 7 during the break. A great morning session for Glamorgan, and with Lloyd well set on 69 not out, the visitors were in complete control, leading by 172 runs as the afternoon session got underway. New batsman DeLanger played freely, and Lloyd went from strength to strength, bringing up his century in style by hitting Van Buren for three consecutive boundaries. A quite brilliant knock by the Glamorgan man, and he continued to play his shots until he was eventually caught behind off Howell for 119. The score surpassed 500, but new batsman Carey didn't last long, trapped in front by Higgins for seven. DeLanger reached his 50 and Glamorgan then declared with the score 526 for 9. A mammoth total from the visitors with good contributions throughout. Marsh and Lloyd the obvious standout performers with their superb centuries. And things went from bad to worse for the hosts. Hal trapped LBW for 6 before Roderick was caught by Donald for 4. T was taken with Gloucestershire 18 for 2 and Dent and Bracey had a hugely difficult task at hand as they took to the middle for the evening session and it wasn't long before Dent was back in the pavilion, Salter taking the catch off DeLanger's bowling, Dent out for 12. In came Taylor who did well to steady things with Bracey and the pair took the score past 50, scoring regular boundaries. The Glamorgan bowlers were patient though, Carlson taking the catch to send Taylor packing for 29. That brought Van Buren to the crease, but he didn't last long. DeLanger the wicket taker again, this time with an LBW. Gloucestershire were in trouble, but new batsman Higgins was unfazed and proceeded to punish the Glamorgan attack, scoring quick runs. Bracey also found the boundary rope and the Gloucestershire pair took their partnership to 49 before play was brought to a close. Bracey 34 not out, Higgins unbeaten on 31. Gloucestershire 133 for 5. A good effort from the batting pair, but it was a day dominated by the visitors, gaining a first innings lead of 290 thanks to a great knock by Lloyd. DeLanger was the standout bowler once again for Glamorgan, taking three out of the five Gloucestershire wickets. He'll be hoping to lead from the front once again on the final day as Glamorgan chased the win. Gloucestershire still trailed by 157 runs and will have to bat for a long time if they have any chance of saving this game.